Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to be away for a few days again, so please subscribe to my Telegram channel. It will be in the description box below. I post so much more on there just encouraging scriptures, messages, um, salvation messages, and there's so much going on in the world, and I put a lot more of it on my Telegram. So I will put my Telegram channel in the description box. Uh, please subscribe uh, because I will be away for a few days. But I had to share this one with you guys today. This one is pure madness. This is just in from Fox News. Listen to this. Fargo School Board votes to stop saying Pledge of Allegiance at meetings. Let me read some of this to you. The Fargo, North Dakota Board of Education voted Tuesday to no longer recite the Pledge of Allegiance before board meetings, which they had been doing since March. Seth Holden, board vice president, argued against saying the Pledge of Allegiance, saying it ran counter to the district's philosophy. Given that the word God, capital G, in the text of the Pledge of Allegiance is capitalized, the text is clearly referring to the Judeo-Christian God, and therefore it does not include any other faiths such as Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Holden said, adding that this made the Pledge of Allegiance a non-inclusionary act. You can't make this up, folks. So here you have the Fargo, North Dakota Board of Education who voted uh, on Tuesday to no longer recite the Pledge of Allegiance before its board meetings, giving that the word God in the text of the Pledge of Allegiance is capitalized. Folks, this is pure madness. This is insanity. It couldn't be any more clear that we're living in the end times, folks, and Jesus is coming. As soon as I saw this, I was reminded of what's recorded in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28 to 32, where the Apostle Paul says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, listen to this next one, haters of God, capital G. That's exactly what we're seeing here. Haters of God, capital G, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Folks, that's here net right now. We've been given over to a reprobate mind. I don't know what else to say, except if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you need to get saved right now. Jesus is coming. You're not promised your next breath. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And just look around you. Everything you see occurring, when you read your Bible, you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. Keep watching up. Keep looking with me. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he's coming. And he's coming quickly, one day very, very, very soon. Keep watching with me. And again, make sure to subscribe to my Telegram channel as I will be away for a few days. So much is happening so fast. And Jesus is coming soon. God bless you all.